Another objection I have here as we talked about this cumulative case is the idea that, well, maybe there's just no framework in which we can test theism. I hear a lot of um, people, especially online, that will talk about the idea that we need this like empirical evidence to prove that God exists or things like that. Um, you know, like all these philosophical arguments are great and good fun, but there's no there's no proof that God exists. We we have we can't put him in a test lab and demonstrate that he's here. So I'm curious, like, how do you respond to this kind of objection to um, natural theology? Well, in um, philosophy anyway, the notion of proof has almost no place a at all. There's almost no argument that, so there are, what is there, around eight, eight or 9,000 PhDs in the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no single argument that or position that all all of us would agree to. So you find proofs in in mathematics and logic, of course. But on this point, I I would note that radical skepticism. Somebody who is deeply skeptical about sensory experience. Um, very few philosophers would claim you could prove to the skeptic that the world is as it appears. The certain thing, I think we can probably, I'm sort of with Descartes here, I think that denying the self is, um, is probably the most, um, uh, let me find the best way to put this. That is, denying that you yourself exist seems to lock you into a contradiction because you have to, um, exist in order to disbelieve that you exist. So on these foundational points, but uh, there's no, I couldn't prove to a, a rigorous skeptic in the tradition of Sextus Empiricus, going back to the ancient world. And there are skeptics, um, Peter Unger at NYU, he wrote a book called Ignorance, claiming none of us know anything. And he even wrote an essay called Why I Don't Exist. He followed it <laughs> up by there are no people. And <laughs> Amazing. It's 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 astounding how far people will go. One of my mm -hmm. good friends, an atheist, but Galen Strawson, he for about two years defended the view that selves, that is persons, only exist for three to four minutes. Hmm. But I, I'm in a book, you know, I don't mind him knowing this, but I personally think that some of these are designed to get, well, attention.